This is lesson 6-2. This is found on page 157 of your book. Now we are going to plan adjusting entries on a worksheet. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is what adjustments are. Okay, um, Changes recorded on a worksheet to update general ledger accounts at the end of the fiscal period. Those are adjustments. Okay, um, It says the assets of a business such as supplies and prepaid insurance are used to earn revenue. The portions of the assets that are consumed in order to earn revenue become expenses of the business. The portions consumed are no longer assets but now expenses. Therefore, adjustments must be made to both the asset and expense accounts for supplies and insurance. Okay, So you just need to know whenever it talks about making adjustments, we need to adjust for supplies and we need to adjust for um, prepaid insurance. Okay, So we need to write the debit amount, the credit amount, and label two parts of the adjustment. Okay. So it will tell us what our adjustment is. And in this case, um, we had our trial balance already. Remember, we just did this in the last section. So our supplies said um, 1,025. Okay, it tells us here that our adjustment is um, a $715 adjustment. So all this means is that you have used up $715 worth of your hundred or $1,025 worth of supplies. Okay, so you know that an expense is always debited, so your expense um, side will be debited, so $715 in your adjustment side on the debit side, and then um, $715 in the credit side of supplies. We need to do the same thing with insurance. Um, if we have $1,200 worth of insurance in the year, um, this is saying that we have used $100 of it, um, so we need to adjust for $100. Again, our expense will be debited, so we'll have $100 in our debit side. Our credit side will be $100. Okay. Proving the adjustment column of a worksheet. Okay, so we need to rule a single line again. Um, that will be given to you on the computer, but you might need to know that for a test question. Okay, um, add both the adjustment debit and credit side. These two should equal. Okay, because your debit side and your credit side should equal of your adjustment column, and then rule a double line at the bottom. Okay, when we're preparing a worksheet, we'll write the heading. Okay, we did that in our last um, lesson. Record the trial balance. We did that. We'll record the supplies adjustment, record the prepaid insurance adjustment, prove the adjustment column. We've done all these things, and now all we need to do is extend all balance sheet accounts balances. Okay? Then we'll extend all income statement account balances, then we'll calculate and record the net income or net loss, and then we'll total and enroll the income statement and balance sheet column. Okay? These nine things you need to know how to do in order. Okay? This needs to go in your notes so that you remember exactly how to prepare a worksheet. This will be a big part of um, this test, for one thing, and then accounting. Um, you'll need to know this for all the chapters following. Okay, So you really need to make sure that you understand this. If you don't understand this, stop, go back, read, um, come ask me, watch this video again, and then move on. Okay. This is what our worksheet looks like. If you go to page, let me get to it, um, 160, um, then the next page is the summary of preparation of a worksheet um, for a service business. So if you turn it to one more page, it says page B. This is what a worksheet looks like. And the um, page before, like those transparent sheets, is what we have done through the trial balance. So that where it says that number one, we have gone ahead and done our heading, so techno consulting worksheet for the month ended. We've done our trial balance, so we've written all of our general um, ledger accounts, we've done all of their debit and credit columns, and we've ruled. Okay. Then when you take that first transparent sheet and move it over, it shows you what to do for adjustments. And then if you take your second transparency, it shows how to extend your balance sheet and income statement. Um, uh, accounts across and if you take your last one it will show you how to prove and rule so this is a really great way um, to know how each step works okay so same thing on this thing this is just like moving those transparent sheets here's that first part that we do is putting the heading okay and then this shows it all done okay so the second part would be to do your trial balance the third part would to do your supplies adjustment fourth part would be to do your prepaid insurance adjustment fifth would be to rule sixth we are going to just extend the balance of all of our balance sheet accounts okay so cash petty cash 
all the way down to income summary. Nothing should be an income summary. That's where you know where to stop with your balance sheet and then that's when you start moving down into your income statement. Okay, so let's watch this. If this says 49.64 even, you just move it over. 1,000, 1,500, 1,000, okay? Here though, we can't just move it over because we have this um, 715 of a credit. So we started with a debit, 1,025. Now we have a credit. If we add together a debit and a credit, right, it's going to be less. We'd have to subtract that credit. So now we have 3,100. Same thing here. 1,200 a debit minus a credit, we'll have 1,100 or 11,000. Sorry. Okay. Move these over. Do you see how these were all debits? So it started in the debit side. These are credits. So these will go on your credit side over here. Okay. Debit to debit. Now that our income summary line is here, now we need to start moving over to the income state. Oop, sorry, income statement side. Same thing. Just move them over to whatever side they're on. Okay. The last thing we need to do is add up our income statements, debit and credit side, our balance sheet, debit and credit side, and then we need to find the difference of these two, and that is where we know if we have a net income or a net loss. Okay, The difference of these two will go, um, those two numbers should match right here, your net income or net loss, and then we'll add again um, to get down to the bottom. Okay.